even though we're not necessarily taken very seriously, that's actually not such a bad thing. Uh, we, we can say things that no one else can say. All the great political cartoonists who do these wonderful images of our great leaders in silly positions. You've got to laugh, really. You have to. You have to be able to have that outlet, that valve, just to let it, your frustrations out. They serve a purpose. We always need satire because we always need to have the ultimate response to the people who want to control our lives, which is laughing at them. And uh, at the moment, we've got a Prime Minister who, despite all appearances to the contrary, hates being laughed at, which is why he plays the fool because he wants to control the agenda and make people laugh with him. And now he's being laughed at. It's absolutely wonderful to hear the comments from people because most of the time we send off our work and it appears in a, a newspaper or magazine and we never see the audience reaction. We hope people laugh at home when they open the paper but you never know so to have a live reaction to what you're doing is, is wonderful. <laughs> It's nice being with Bob, and it's nice working on a different scale as well. So yeah, it's great. You know, it's great fun. We all we all love to do it. I have a team of joke writers in my local pub, which I visit daily to um, talk through the day's news. Um, so, um, but when we do meet as a group of cartoonists, um, it's always interesting. We sit around talking about pens and ink for several hours. People really like this. They've been doing this for 40,000 years. You know, they've been doing cartoons and drawings and things like that, mediating reality for 40,000 years. And it's not governments in this country that get rid of cartoonists, it's newspaper editors and their accounts department who get rid of cartoonists. And there's always a complaint. They're saying, you know, bring back the cartoonists, bring back the cartoonists.